Hi, my name is Sierra Isringhausen. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. So, <clears throat> I started doing drugs in um, 2017. And, you know, I lost my son and I used that as an excuse for the longest time that it was okay, that I didn't have any responsibility. And I just started getting in trouble and I got my first charge was an assault charge. And it was on a guy, and I didn't really care. I went to jail, I got a PR bond, was out. Started getting high as soon as I got out. And then um, I was getting high with some people I knew. This guy ran a red light. My car got totaled, I had a warrant for my arrest, and I ran and fled the scene. And <clears throat> eventually I got caught, I did jail in a week, and then my grandparents ended up bonding me out. And then, I went back to the streets, started getting high some more, and uh, I was hanging out with some really bad people this time, and I stole a credit card and uh, got money off the credit card, and I ended up catching an identity theft charge, and we ended up getting pulled over, and I went to jail, got a PR bond, got out, started hanging around them, you know. Uh, was selling drugs at this time, had guns on me. I wasn't being very smart, didn't really care. The cops were looking for me at this time and um, I just wasn't ready to turn myself in at the time. And um, I kept telling everybody around me I was gonna turn myself in, but I wasn't ready to. I wanted to keep getting high. Um, <clears throat> They were looking for me in connection to a murder, and the people that had did it were people that I had hung around uh, very heavily, so they thought I knew some information. And when I did end up getting caught, I ended up getting caught with a shirt of black on me, went to jail. I was in jail for six and a half months, and I went to the halfway house. And I still wasn't ready to quit using. I was using when I got to the halfway house and they sent me to IRT. And in IRT, I heard about Oxford House and how it changed some of the girls' lives that had went to Oxford House. And I decided that when I was to go non-res at the halfway house that I would go to Oxford. So the day finally came and I decided to go to Oxford and you know, Oxford has done amazing for me, you know. I have found a support system here, friendships, you know, kind of like a family here. And as long as you're ready to hold yourself accountable and you want this change, Oxford will help you 100% and will stand behind your back 100%. Thank you for your time.